Hey y'all, I'm Brian Reeves, Brian with a Y, Withrow Reeves, that's my, my full name. I'm the author of this book, Choose Her Every Day or Leave Her, a guide for your journey through the transformational fires of love and intimacy. Let me see if you can see that. I'm going to be reading this book to you through the next series of videos. Uh, it's available on Amazon, on Audible, on all the platforms. It's uh, got about 300 reviews on Amazon so far. Um, 4.6, 4.7 rating, so it's doing pretty good. Sold about 10,000 copies, which is fantastic as an independent author at the time of uh, this recording right now. Uh, maybe even more, might even be up to 11,000 by now, but I'm an author. I mean, this is my second book. This book actually uh, was born of a, of a blog that I wrote that has been so far read by like 50 million people. I've been a relationship coach for the last decade. Uh, I work with men, women, couples. This is a book for men and for women. If you're curious, choose, although choose her every day or leave her. I know it sounds like it's for, for men. Uh, I brought a lot of what I've, what I've learned and what I teach is, is in this book as well. And over the next few months, I'm going to be uh, just, as I said, reading it to you. So come on this ride with me. You can get this on any of the platforms uh, and just consider subscribing to this channel. I'll take you into a bit of the behind the scenes, share more of the stories. There's about 63 chapters. They're not long. They're, they're, they're short chapters. You can jump around different. Uh, don't have to read it front to back. But um, I just thought it'd be a treat, especially for me, to come to beautiful little spots. I know there's a little bit of a busy park, some airplane activity and stuff, but the birds are here and it's a lovely, lovely day. So uh, why don't we just dive in? Uh, chapter one. Actually, uh, let's see. There's three parts. Part one is preparation. You can see that. Chapter one, no one ever taught me how to be a man. No one ever taught me how to be a man. I love my two fathers, my stepdad and my dad. I'm truly blessed to have both of these good men in my life. But it was my two mothers, my mom and stepmom, who were the strong orienting leaders in my early life, who held the families together and made sure I always knew everything would be okay. My dads, well, I never felt them fully present for me. As I look back, I see my moms holding the world together while my two dads seem to mostly just be holding on for dear life and mostly holding on to their wives, my mothers. But I didn't only grow up with disoriented fathers. Just like you, I was and still am immersed in a world dominated by warped, immature expressions of manhood and masculinity. For example, constantly sexualizing women, ridiculing vulnerability, Woman magnet gun toting hero worship, homophobia, power focused blame game government politics, bullying from every angle, a win at all costs, winner take all competitive ethos, and anti feminine misogyny of infinite variety. Even the offensive words I learned to use as a young boy to assert dominance, like bitch, fag, crybaby, Nancy boy, cocksucker, motherfucker. All were insults that strike their blow by chopping down the feminine. And my personal favorite is pussy. I figure anything that references the wonder of a woman's capacity for yielding life should be reserved for only the highest of praise. Yet it's merely a tool for insult. Us and our misogynistic genital shame. Generations of Western men are in crisis. And we have no idea how to step up with a mature masculinity in our relationships with women. At 39, uh, I wrote this when I was 39, this part, this part of the book. I'm actually 50 now. Um, and just side note too, I uh, was single when I wrote a lot of this book. Uh, I write about, I'll share more about my, my, my wife. I've been married now. I've been with my wife now for coming up on nine years. And as we get deeper into the book, uh, I write about some of our lessons and, and um, our challenges as well. So again, subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, I think this would be very meaningful for you if you're someone who cares about relationship and wants to do it well. So, okay, back. At 39, I'm only now discovering what this immature masculine ethos has cost me and the women I've been in relationship with. I've demeaned my female partners by treating them as emotionally flawed versions of men. I've run away from them, fed up and disgusted, when they only needed me to stand fast and love them deeply. I've lied because I thought their weaker sensitivities couldn't handle difficult truths. Little did I know I was the one who couldn't handle difficult truths. 
and I've used their bodies for my pleasure and then disappeared quick as I came, so to speak. I've failed my more core feminine partners in countless heartbreaking ways because no one ever taught me how to be a man. And I don't mean in traditional ways, like paying for everything or just being the one to get the car fixed or opening doors. I actually don't believe in such fixed and firm rules. I simply mean that no one ever taught me how to show up fully present as a man. And I see so much of it now. My heart still breaks as I look backwards and see the awful wake of female wreckage I created in years past. Now sure, they had their own growing up to do. Let me not condescend now by suggesting that I, a man, was solely responsible for the experiences of these poor girls. Of course not. That's just more clever self-righteous misogyny in disguise. Nonetheless, I see so clearly how I failed to show up for the women in my life over and over and over. And boys today are still in crisis. They commit suicide at a higher rate than girls. They feel isolated and angry. They're the ones shooting up schools and concerts. And our girls are in crisis too. Indeed, the world is as confused as ever. And as we continue to infuse a new generation of boys and girls with the same stunted growth versions of masculinity and femininity, we remain disconnected from the profound gifts of our wondrous human essence. Fortunately, we're collectively growing ever more wise to this tragic deception. I'm certainly seeing it. And as I near my 40th birthday, the mature masculine man in me is awakening. What I'm discovering is not only massive appreciation for the mysterious and untamable feminine essence in a woman, but also for that same wild feminine essence in me too. What's more, as the man inside me awakens more and more every day, my life's work transforms, which is the most exciting thing about overcoming the absence of father and finally learning what it means to be a heart-centered, genuinely powerful, authentic man, capital M on that man, in the world. And as I continue to do my inner healing work and overcome the overwhelming absence of father, I'm awakening to an authentic life purpose that finally makes life truly worth living. Still, how different life would have been had a wise elder man long ago shown me the way. So that's the end of chapter one. No one ever taught me how to be a man of uh, my book, Choose Her Every Day or Leave Her. The next chapter is, ooh, it's a good one, chapter two, and I'll read that in the next video. A Man's Evolution. Ah, you can't read that. A Man's Evolution in Intimacy with Women. This is a good one. So again, if you're a man or a woman, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Again, it's available on Amazon, on Audible, on all the various different uh, platforms where you get books online. And if you want to hear me just read out the chapters here in these videos and take you a bit deeper into some of the stories and backgrounds, uh, please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.